Every week, the University of Saskatchewan releases new data on the viral load of COVID-19 in the city's wastewater. This week, it's up by 20% in Saskatoon, with, but with so many increases and decreases over the last few months, should people be concerned? For some context, we're joined by John Giese. He's a toxicologist and professor at the University of Saskatchewan. Thank you for being here. It's my pleasure. Okay, let's just focus on Saskatoon just for time's sake. If I understand this correctly, while the viral load is up week over week, overall it's down. Can you help put the data in perspective? Certainly. You know, things do vary a little bit from time to time, and we measure the absolute amount and relative amounts. So over the last 15 or 16 weeks, what we're measuring now is the third lowest number. So even though it's gone up a little bit this week, 20%, it's still overall trending down. What is your detection limit? How many people need to be infected for the viral load to show up? Good. That's a good question. Uh, our best estimate is about five people in the city of Saskatoon. That varies a little bit depending on how much virus they're shedding and where they are in the cycle. But on average, it's about five individuals. And then how do you compare that week to week in terms of increases and decreases? So each week we make three measurements and then those measurements are averaged. And what we compare is that average of three values week over week. So how has your data been reflected in hospitalization numbers? So right now, we don't have access to the most recent hospitalization data. But historically, when we have made that comparison, we get very, very good relationships. We can predict the hospitalizations by about seven days. And we have very, very high confidence in that. Historically, we used to measure the new cases, but without monitoring now, we can't do that. Let's talk about trends. How can you use the information you have right now to predict what's going to happen in the next few weeks? So what we look at are what we call spline plots, which are moving averages. And I look at the status and trends. So what we're looking at now is we're expecting it to decrease uh, next week. Um, it's, it's sort of slowing down, but we're getting near to our detection limit, which means there are fewer people infected in Saskatoon. So overall, what's your biggest takeaway as you've been studying this viral load for weeks and weeks and weeks through the pandemic? Well, we can generally predict pretty well what we expect. We can't always predict the magnitude, but when schools start up, we expect an increase when mandate dates are removed. And, and that's pretty much been the case over time. We're expecting now that the trend should stay low. It's summertime. Traditionally, in the summer, things do decrease. And hopefully, we're nearing the end of the overall trend. When it started, I thought it would take about two years. And we're just beyond that now. So hopefully, we've reached the end of this particular cycle. I hope so, too. Thank you so much for your time and for your work. Thanks, Sam. Nice chatting with you. Bye-bye.